Okay, bye. Thank you, guests. You may be seated. Scott and Jessica would like to welcome you and thank each of you, their family and their close friends, for being a witness as they begin a new life and are joined together in the sight of God in the holy institution of marriage. Scott and Jessica met many years before I met them. I met them three years ago, and one of the first activities we did together was a Gator for Christ Peace Retreat. I remember uh, Julie and I and uh, Scott and Jessica got to drive together and got to know each other. And from that moment on, I uh, grew a close relationship with them. I've watched Jessica grow so much in the Lord, and I've watched Scott grow so much in the Lord. I've seen how creative and purposeful Jessica is, how, what a wonderful listener she is, and what a wonderful, committed Christian she is, inside the classroom and outside the classroom, watching her stand strong in the faith. Uh, it was my pleasure uh, to baptize Scott a couple years ago and watch him grow in the faith and watch them grow together as two lights shining even brighter together as one on this beautiful day. Jesus once said, you are the light of the world. Scott and Jess are both bright lights in this world and it is an honor to play a part in joining these two lights together as one. Not only are Scott and Jessica best friends, but they are also brother and sister in Christ. They both agree today they will make the second most important decision and commitment of their lives. The first being the commitment they made to God and the decision to be baptized in Christ Jesus, his son. Scott and Jessica have chosen for their scripture reading 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 4 through 7. From the words of Paul, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. It is not prude or proud, it's not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never 
save us. Would you now please join me in prayer? Father in heaven, Lord, thank you so much for bringing Scott and Jessica together. Lord, I thank you so much for their lives, for their commitment to one another, for their commitment to the church, for the commitment to you, Father, for the commitment to their family and their close friends, Father. They're such a wonderful encouragement. It is an exciting thing to be part of this special day. We celebrate their new life together as a couple. And as they move to Dallas, Father, Lord, bless them and keep them. And Lord, we just thank you so much for the blessing they will be uh, to people there as well as to us still here. To your son's holy and precious name we pray. And we all say together, Amen. Amen. Scott, do you now allow to leave your father and mother to establish your own home with Jessica as her husband, to make a home where she will be loved and cared for as long as God grants her life? If so, Scott, please answer me. I will. And Jessica, do you now leave your father and mother to establish your own home with Scott as his wife? To make a home where he will be loved and cared for as long as God grants him life. If so, Jessica, please answer, I will. And to the parents of the couple, please stand at this time. Parents, do you promise to encourage Scott and Jessica in their marriage? To present an example of love and devotion for them to emulate? And to help build a strong and stable home for themselves and their family. If so, parents, please answer, we will. We will. Thank you. Please be seated. Marriage is an honorable commitment. It is the building block of society. The writer in Hebrews said, marriage should be honored by all. Marriage has been a God-given tradition from the beginning. Thus, marriage was instituted and ordained by God. But also we learn in the New Testament, it symbolizes the union that exists between Christ and his church. Thus again, Scott and Jessica, I charge you with this reminder. Scott, the best thing you can do for Jessica is to nurture your relationship with God. And Jessica, the best thing you can do for Scott is to nurture your relationship with God. I challenge you both to always pray together every day, read God's word together, and go to church together. I also challenge you to take hold of Joshua's words as you raise your future family together. I will fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. At this time, Jess's uncle has a scripture reading for us. Reading from Romans, chapter, verses 9 through 18. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never, never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spirit fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. <laughs> bless those who persecute you. Bless if you're not cursed. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud but be willing to associate with people of no position and not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Thank you so much. Scott and Jessica, as you hold hands, these are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love that hold yours on your wedding day. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will passionately love you and care for you throughout the years. At this time, Scott and Jessica have written their own vows to one another, and we'll start with Scott as you read your vows to Jessica. I pledge to always be your best friend, to laugh with you, to comfort you, keep you warm when you're cold. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to never ask more than you can give, and to never put myself before you. I vow to share my heart and soul, my joy, my strength, my deepest love and affection. I promise to love you for the rest of my life, no matter what, what life throws at us, good or bad, because together we can get through anything. 
<laughs> and Jessica, if you would please read your vows to Scott. When I'm with you, I feel like a princess. Be my dream come true. When I was six years old, I prayed to God for a husband someday that had blue eyes, a small nose, <laughs> and a giving heart. You're that and more. I promise to you to always put your needs before mine, to cherish you, to support you, and to cherish every laugh, every tear, every moment, every second I am with you from this moment on. I look at you and I see our children. I see us old and gray holding hands on a rocking chairs out front. And I can't wait to that moment when I get to look at you and know that I can look back on years worth of cherished memories, see every wrinkle in your face, and know that every smile was with me, every frown was with me, every joy was with me. May we have the rings at this time. The perfect circle of a ring symbolizes eternity, while gold, the ring choice of Scott and Jessica, is a symbol of all that is pure and holy. As you give these rings to one another, Scott and Jessica, our prayer is that your love will be the same, pure and eternal. May the Lord God bless these rings, the symbols of your marriage. Beginning with Scott, as you place the ring on Jessica's finger, please repeat after me. I, Scott, take you, Jessica, to be my wife. I, Scott, take you, Jessica, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. Richer or poor. Richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And be faithful to you. And be faithful to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. With this ring I be wed. With this ring I be wed. All my love I do thee give. All my love I do thee give. I do thee give. <laughs> Very good. And now Jessica, would you repeat after me? Wait. As you place the ring on Scott's finger. I, Jessica, take you, Scott, to be my husband. I, Jessica, take you, Scott, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. Richer or poor. Richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And be faithful to you. And be faithful to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as with this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. All my love I do thee give. All my love I do thee give. <laughs> Scott and Jessica have decided to start their new lives together by taking part in a blending of the sands. The six glass flasks have different colored sands in them to represent their lives to this moment. They're distinct flasks each capable of going its separate way. The merging of these flasks of sand symbolizing for, symbolize a forming a new life together. From this time onward, may your thoughts be for one another, Scott and Jessica, and not for your individual selves. In Mark 10, 7 through 9, it says this, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be united with his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate.
Let us pray again. Father, we thank you for the divine gift of marriage. Thank you again for bringing Scott and Jessica together. God, please bless this union and keep it strong. Please help them to live up to the vows they have made in your presence. Father, guide, guard, and direct them as they strive to serve you, to serve others, and to serve each other. Help them to always love one another just as Christ loves his church. Amen. Scott and Jessica, the best part. Since you've both committed yourselves before God, before these witnesses, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage by the authority of God and in accordance with the laws of the state of Florida, on this day, June the 30th, 2012, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Scott, you may kiss your bride. For the first time, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Scott and Jessica McElroy.